Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about Azure Data Factory, which is one of the data integration service available with Microsoft Azure. We will learn what is Azure Data Factory, how Azure Data Factory can resolve your data integration issues, what are the different components available with Azure Data Factory, and we will see all these with various number of examples which we can use with Azure Data Factory to make your integration journey easy and smooth. Hi, my name is Rakesh Suryavanshi and you are watching our Cloud School. First of all, let's try and understand what is Azure Data Factory. To discuss about what is Azure Data Factory, I'm going to use a sketch diagram which is available on Microsoft documentation which you can have a look at. I found it easy to explain the concept hence I'm using that. So let me open that diagram. So here is the diagram which explains the overall concept of Azure Data Factory, what it needs, what a component it has and how it can help you to build your integration solution with respect to your data. The entire discussion on this ADF concept may take 10 to 15 minutes but trust me this is really really important to understand the concept of the Data Factory before you start using it. So be there with me and I hope you will learn something new about the data factory and the data integration services. So let me try and read this diagram, what exactly it talks about from the data factory concept of it. So first of all, what is data factory? So data factory is a cloud-based data integration service. Yes, you heard it out. It, yes, you heard it right. It is a data integration service. It's not a normal just integration service like Logic App, Azure API Management or Azure Function. It is a service which is working on your data or your organization's data which you would like to move or transform. So what it does, it transform, it provides the orchestration of on your data which can help to move and transform the data. And it does with the variety of diverse set of database uh, available in the market. For example, your data could be a non-structured, structured, semi-structured data, which is there on the variety of different sources such as MS SQL, MySQL, PSQL, Cosmos DB, a storage account, and there could be many, many storage options. So you have an option with Data Factory to move and transform the data from these variety of data sources at a massive scale. So no matter how large your data is, Data Factory would be able to help you to transform and move your data at a rapid pace between the cloud, outside the cloud as well. I hope that makes a bit of clarity about the Data Factory as in concept. If it does not, then let's have a discussion about why the Azure Data Factory is needed. To discuss the concept of why the Azure Data Factory is needed, let's first of all understand the data integration challenge. Consider that you have an organization you are working with who is dealing with a big data. Yes, you heard it right, big data. A data which is big in size, but also a data which is diverse in the form of relational data, non-relational data, structured data, raw data, and data which is coming from variety of different sources, a variety of different shapes and forms. So all those sort of data which your company is dealing with it. Now, what they want is they want to perform the analysis on the data so that they can improve the business, they can improve the productivity of the product they, which they are dealing with it. So this entire transformation and analysis journey requires two phases. Once, first is the data movement and then data transformation. So your operation team within the organization may be interested in the data ingestion, which is data movement. But how do we do that? So data movement so that they can perform the further transformation and the analysis on that data. But working on this unstructured uh, data or the data which is coming from a variety of different sources makes a job very difficult because working on this raw data and performing the actionable business endpoint is a tedious job to perform. And that too needed with a scalable pace 
because you don't want to take entire month or year to perform the analysis on your data because by that time your competitor may be ahead of the game and your business may be losing the competition which is available in the market so in a summary your data integration challenge has two type of issues first is how do you move the data which is coming from different sources how do you transform that data and then finally how do you analyze the data which is being available from those sources that's the integration solution now if you found this concept difficult to understand let's try and understand with the help of one scenario let's say the big data organization which i mentioned is the organization which is basically developing certain number of gaming application and these gaming applications are used by billions of application user across across the different countries across the globe now your organization has petabytes of data for the gaming applications which are being generated by the those millions of user now your application or the, your organization wants some application insights to perform on the customer data or the gaming data for an example what are users gaming preference when that particular game is being used most what are the critical phases users are more interested in all those sort of things basically so that they can come across with a business strategy to keep their product competitive in the market now there could be a different uses of having this data for an example this data can be used to develop new feature improve the player's experience for the game perspective of course to up sale and cross sale and diverse growth for the business as well now the question is what do i need to do well basically you need the data to collect first of all and the data could be on the on premise or it could be on a different cloud provider or within the cloud on the different sources you first of all need to be collecting the data and then performing the analysis on the data what exactly your team needs to do first they need to collect the data from the different sources they need to process the data to transform it in the phase or in in a particular structure in which it is needed and then finally the move, move the data to a warehouse where the analytic service like machine learning or and other system can perform the further analysis on the data to improve the business growth as such so that's the scenario i hope that scenario is making sense now the question is how adf is helping the scenarios to meet the goal well adf is a set of interconnected system that can give you end to end data integration platform which is needed by your data engineers how does it does so adf has various number of connectors with the help of those connectors you can connect to the various data sources and collect and once you connect the data you have the different collection option for example you have the different number of activities such as uh, such as the copy activity which you can use along with those connected to copy the data from the source location and then perform the further action like moving the data from to the destination location or you can you may want to transform the data which is moving by the copy activity so you have various number of transformation activities also available for example transformation for an example the transformation could be the collecting the data for the actions to perform the aggregation filter cleaning up and that too all possible with azure data factory on a ui based form so you do not have to write any code as such everything all the data flow or the actions which you are setting up it is done through the user interface now once you set up this entire collection movement and transformation which is combining together called as a pipeline once you set up that pipeline you may want to transform this entire pipeline journey to various environment and that where that is where there is a need of integrated 
a continuous integration and continuous development strategy required well the good thing is with ldf you can have the ci cd setup which means that whatever action we are performing on azure data factory as in ui as in workflow that entire workflow can be checked in as in source code into your github or azure devops git repository and that as the code is checked into the repository you can smoothly move your changes from one environment one subscription to another subscription without having any issues as such now once your changes are developed published to the various environment the last thing you might need is you may want to monitor your pipeline changes when the pipeline is running your type adf pipelines are running it may be success it may be fail it may not be generating some desired output so all those kind of actions require some level of monitoring yes you do so in that case uh, so to perform that monitoring action your azure ad is very well connected with your azure monitoring sections which you can make use of it to monitor all your data factory actions and see how the overall execution flow of your data factory pipeline looks like is it failing passing if it is failing what kind of alert you want to raise and all those sort of thing that's it that's how the azure data factory is going to help you now it now that that sounds well but let's talk about the data integration pattern and see if that patterns will be managed by the azure data factory so at a high level we have two different type of azure data integration we have two type of data integration pattern one is etl which is extract transform and load extracting means connecting to the source data and copying the data to a central location transforming means processing on the data transforming it making it the data to the required format and then loading it move the data to a warehouse or the analytical engine so that the business insight can be performed on that particular data apart from this etl job etl type of integration you also have elt type of integration which is extract load and then transform which means that here you extract the data and then raw data itself is loaded onto a centralized location and then afterwards the data transformation is being performed all that to be possible with edf and edf all that to be possible with adf azure data factory i mentioned that it provides a code free etl service what do i mean by that is you have option to define all your integrations with the help of ui you have a canvas you have a workflow ui where in which you can drag and drop various number of actions data flows pipelines and define your integration journey smoothly yes you have the option to create a hand coded transformation using the azure compute resources but why do you need that you if you have the ui based wizard which you can use to simply transform your integration journey then make use of it because it's easy you do not have the dependency on writing the complex logic now there are five main aspect of it which is been covered by this ui based wizard first thing is you have the ingesting the data which means that copying the data from on premise or from the cloud to the target location and that too is possible with a various number of connector which are available here it is mentioned 90 plus connectors which are available which you can seamlessly use to move the data serverlessly without a scaling at a massive massive scale next you have the control flow control flow i mentioned that it is part of the pipeline where you define the flow of your data you can perform the various type of business logic within the data which you are dealing with it and that is where your data flow and control flow comes into a picture right next which is number four is scheduling the operation so having all those transformation connector pipelines you build your pipelines but it may possible that you may want to run the pipeline on a particular event or on a particular schedule time so 
That is also possible with Azure Data Factory. You can have the various type of scheduling options, various type of triggering option which on which you can trigger your pipelines. You can have one or more different type of pipelines which you can define within the Azure uh, ADF, within the Azure ADF, and then you can run the schedule. Last, not the least, the monitoring options which I mentioned. You can connect or plug in the monitoring option with Azure Data Factory to monitor the operation which are being running on your data factory. So that's the high level summary of the Azure Data Factory. How, what is Azure Data Factory? How it resolves the data integration challenges with the different scenarios? And what are the different component? What are the, how is it going to resolve the data integration patterns like ETN and ELT? Yes, it does. Now, in our next section, I am going to talk about the components of Azure Data Factory, right? So that's it in this video. This is just a conceptual overview of Azure Data Factory, what it does, what capabilities it has, and to make those capabilities possible, what all the different components of the Data Factory. So I'm going to use the same diagram, but we'll explain it further in this diagram in our part two of this video. I hope you have found this useful. If it is, please give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching it. See you in the next video.